Let's talk about the types of radiation. Okay, we're going to look at the three most common types of ionising radiation. What is ionising radiation again? The one that's dangerous. Yeah, the one that's dangerous. Why is it dangerous? Uh, because it can pull uh, electrons from other atoms causing mutation. Yeah, so it can pull electrons off atoms, which obviously we know is not good for things like our cellular health, <laughs> as we are aware of from yesterday. So we're going to look at the types of radiation, describe their properties, look at what can stop them, what can't stop them, and then um, talk about some of the uses that these have. So alpha radiation, the symbol for alpha radiation is alpha, which is kind of like a fish without the tail. It's the Greek letter for alpha. Now I'm going to leave this blank, but it is something, radiation. There were two types we looked at yesterday. I'm going to let you decide what you think the type of radiation that it is. One starts with N, one starts with E to give you a hint. And it is made up of two protons and two neutrons, which is kind of the well, it's not kind of, it is the helium nucleus. Which means it has a positive charge. So it has two protons and two neutrons. It has a positive charge. This is the one that... Ernest Rutherford fired through the gold foil. If you remember the experiment where he fired it through a very thin gold foil and almost all of them went through. This is the radiation that he fired through. He fired an alpha particle through. So that's what our um, alpha particle is. Now it's the most ionising, which means the most damaging. So high Highly ionising. I'm just going to put damaging. So they will do the most ionisation to an atom. They will affect the electrons of the atom the most. So it's highly ioning, ionising. However, it has very poor penetration. Paper will stop or will block alpha particles. Yeah, well, if it hits your skin, it'll do damage. But yeah, if you cover it up, it shouldn't affect you. The symbol for beta radiation is beta in the Greek alphabet, which is kind of like a B with a tail. I'm going to leave you to decide whether it's the uh, E or the N type radiation. It's made up of one electron moving very fast. Okay, which means it has a negative charge. Pardon? No, it's got to be a free electron. Oh, it's a moving free electron. But the damage of one electron is probably not going to be significant. But the damage of lots of type or lots of beta radiation will probably have. It'll have a high CV count. It, yeah, it'll cause electrons to move. Electromagnetic uh, force will move it. Okay, so I'm just going to draw an E with a minus for how it looks. Now, it's not as highly ionising as alpha, so it's got a medium ionisation. And in brackets, that means damage. 
and a medium level of penetration. So our foil will stop this. A few more particles in a sheet of our foil than paper, for example. And the last type of radiation that we're dealing with has the symbol for gamma again, which is like an upside down fish without a tail. A bit thinner, it's not as, um, doesn't look as much like an A. This fish, again, I'm going to leave you to guess the type of radiation. It's a high frequency electromagnetic wave. Which means it's not a particle. But instead it's on. If it's not a particle, it has no mass. Instead, an energy wave. One to draw. That, that's a very oversimplified, all these models are oversimplified, but a very oversimplified version of gamma radiation. And this has poor ion oh, of course I can't spell ionization. So it's the least damaging. But guess what? Highest penetration. And that's oh, I might not write PV, I'll write lead. So you need a sheet of lead, a fairly thick sheet of lead to, to block through these waves. So just to summarise, there are three types of radiation, alpha, beta and gamma. Alpha is the most, try and tilt that up, alpha is the most damaging but the least penetrative and it's made up of two protons and two neutrons with a positive charge. Beta radiation is the medium, so it's got a bit of, it's both penetrative and damaging, but it's sort of in the middle for both. It's given the symbol beta, which is like a B with a tail. It is an electron moving very quickly, I'll have you, with a negative charge. Okay, and the final one is gamma radiation. I'll give away the hint now. Alpha radiation, does anyone want to have a crack? What type? Nuclear, very good. Alpha. Beta. Nuclear. And electromagnetic. So what's the hint? What is, yep, particles, nuclear, electromagnetic are waves. Very, very good. Does that mean that you're really safe if you expose your body to lots of gamma rays? Not at all. Okay, it can still be damaging. However, far less damaging than exposing your body to high levels of alpha or beta radiation. I'm going to leave you now yep. to investigate the uses, so I want you to give me two uses for each one. A use for alpha, um, a use for beta, and a use for gamma radiation in our world. So in, in, our, in the world around us, how do we use beta, gamma, and alpha radiation? You'll see that on your sheet handout there, probably not a bad idea to read through that.